We will turn to the city's cluster closures. It's been sparking some outrage and confusion. The new restrictions taking effect today. All non essential businesses in the cluster zones have shut down, as well as more than five dozen public schools. And parents are upset. They claim they only had 12 hours' notice. Now, protests erupted for a second straight night in Brooklyn. Members of the Hasidic Jewish community claim they are being unfairly targeted here. We have live team coverage starting with News Force Gilma Avalos live in Forest Hills, Queens. Gilma. And Natalie, to give you an idea of the confusion here, overnight this area went from an orange zone to a yellow zone. So what does that mean exactly? Well, it means that restaurants here can serve customers both indoors and outdoors, but just across the way, just beyond that overpass, it's outdoor dining only. These changes happening overnight, and it's far from business as usual. School is in session at PS 101 in Forest Hills, a day after parents had been told the school would shut its doors. Schools in the red and orange zone will be going fully remote. The Queens Elementary School was in the orange zone last night, but a slight change to the map, and now it's in the yellow zone, which means it can stay open with mandatory COVID testing guidelines. In all, the city closed 108 schools on Tuesday. 61 more closed today, leaving special needs children like Elian without crucial physical therapy. No es lo mismo porque... His mother says virtual therapy just isn't cutting it. How were these zones determined? They're determined by the data. They're determined by the facts. They're determined by the test results. We're going to close off the inside. We couldn't do it. The overnight changes to the map resulting in a change of fortune for the owner of Prince Tea House. Using the city's zone finder website, Vincent Kwan confirmed he can open for indoor dining. They're located in the yellow zone. So for us, dining, it applies to us. Indoor dining is allowed. Just a block away in the orange zone, no indoor dining. Metrics business owners say feel arbitrary. The virus itself, it doesn't know what the borders are. It doesn't know where the borders are. So technically what you're saying with the borders is the virus can't cross the street. It can't go to the other zone. Avinash Prasad's hair salon is in the red zone with the most stringent restrictions. As a non-essential business, he'll have to close his doors. It's been Nightmare. confusing for clients and for us. And it's, you know, it's devastating news because, uh, you know, our livelihood depends on this. And for many of these business owners, it was a game day decision. This salon owner tells us that he expected to close. He saw the new map this morning. And so they're open now, but they stay with a $15,000 fine on the line. It's confusion they simply can't afford. Live in Forest Hills, Gilma Avalos, News 4 New York. A lot of questions out there. Gilma, thank you so much for that report. Well, tension in Brooklyn's Hasidic community boiled over again for a second straight day. But today, hundreds of Jewish leaders pledged their support for the new COVID crackdown. News 4's Andrew Sip continuing our team coverage live in Borough Park, Andrew. Natalie, the daylight hours have been fine here in Borough Park, but each night over the last few nights, there have been large crowds. In one instance, they burned face masks in the middle of the street, and then last night, allegedly harassing and assaulting a reporter. All I wanted was to get out alive. Jacob Cornblue, in an interview from his Borough Park rooftop today, telling News 4 about what happened last night. You are First, he was screamed at, then surrounded and assaulted by a crowd on 13th Avenue. Punched me, uh, tried to pull me, uh, pulled off my yarmulke. The attack marked an escalation of protests in the Hasidic community, where many remain upset over new restrictions on gatherings inside houses of worship amid the COVID spike. The mayor today condemning the attack on corn blue. Absolutely unacceptable. Um, Disgusting, really. Both the mayor and the governor calling Corn Blue to offer support. I just wanted to say to him that I was sorry uh, for what he went through. And it shouldn't be tolerated. And it's an affront to the Jewish community. Jacob and others say some of the unrest has been sparked by Heshi Tischler, a city council candidate who heckled the city health commissioner last month and led protests this week. Today, 400 Jewish leaders signed a new letter urging better compliance in the hotspot communities, where coronavirus cases are five times the citywide average. I call on my fellow Jews to say, listen, let us act in ways voluntarily that protect the health of all of us. But it isn't only the Hasidic community that's upset with government regulations. Late today, the Diocese of Brooklyn 
filing a federal lawsuit against Governor Cuomo in the state of New York, saying that the new rules restricting the number of people inside houses of worship, including churches, are illegal. Reporting live in Borough Park, Andrew Siff, News 4 New York.